again? And we're going, hi. See, that's, that's old Mick here. Maybe I should operate the camera. I hear the close up on the mug. Close up on my mug. Dude, I don't know what to do in front of the cameras unless I have a guitar. I mean, just act normal. Okay. <laughs> That's my normal face. Yeah. And if nobody believes you, here's the Mars face. There's the Mars face. So where are you guys playing next? Europe. Europe. Um, let me see. Donington? Does that sound familiar? Castle yeah. Donington. Oh, yeah? Yeah, first gig. Huh. And then, I believe, is we stay there for a couple of days in France, a couple of days. And then, Sweden, where women are women and men are nervous. Mm. <laughs> and Switzerland for a week, Germany for a week, and winging on back out here. And history again. Mm. Hey, how, how did you guys ever come up with the name Motley Crew? Was that part of your biz? <laughs> Don't you remember what happened? Harry came in when we were rehearsing. He goes around. He goes, "This is certainly a motley-looking crew." So, yeah. Did you ever realize that the original name of White Horse was Motley Crew? After, I mean, I think you told me. Yeah. Yeah. That was our first name. It was Fat City, Motley Crew, White Horse. White Horse. Yeah. What it was is we were playing at Wallbangers. And they didn't want to hire any bands that weren't from L.A. And we were playing at Leadbetter's uh, at the same time. So they said, "Look, you got to play. You got to change your name to play at Wallbangers. Uh, we don't want anyone in San Diego to know that you guys are a San Diego band." So we changed our name from Motley Crue to Whitehorse to play Wallbangers. Uh -huh. And then we got such a big following from playing that place, so we just picked, kept the name. But we were playing at one time under two names, and we played yeah. Leadbetter's. We played. Motley Crue, and when we played it with Maldang, as we played White Horse, and White Horse, as White Horse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. God, Lord. Bizarre. You were not Ozzy Osbourne? I should have thought Justin was Ozzy. Ozzy's great. Oh. Yeah, that guy is such a uh, character. Oh, that he doesn't like you guys? Or what? No. Oh. I don't know what that's about. He's, yeah, he's, he's so great. Nice. He's like one of, the, one of the nicest, best people I, I've ever met. Really? He's great. Huh. He's, a, he's a bit sick every now and then. Like we <laughs> we sit around on nights off and, and get really drunk and stuff and just hang out and Ozzy passes out under our road manager's bed. So what happens? Vince looks underneath the bed. Ozzy leaps up, clamps a <laughs> on his nose, and <laughs> like go. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> he's uh, too young to fall in love. Is that little girl that's running around there that's in the street that's all dirty and filthy faces and stuff. Um, she didn't have a place to stay in It's uh, supposed to be like 1930 Soho. That's like right down in the prostitution area and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this guy picks her up off the street. That's the guy standing there. And takes her up to the old uh, house of Bill Repute and clean her up and everything else. And we're the guys that come in to save her because she's too young to fall in love. Mm -hmm. I don't have to watch it again. I know. I, I, I got that. All these freckles all over me. I can't stand these things. Quick, I need gloves and long sleeves. This is stupid. Hey, do you still do uh, an old this stuff? you still do your old Walter Brennan? Do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. any of your old uh, impersonations? <laughs> oh, like, what was the guy you used to do with the little band in the head? <laughs> I don't do him no more. No, no. Do I have these things all over my face, too? Do I swear to God? I don't dig. Well, you can't peel them off. Yes, I can. You watch how fan tape comes until they're gone. These things are the worst. See, these guys with freckles, they get these ugly red-brown colors. Well, if you get enough of them, you wind up being a Nina. We was just in Nina, please. Jesus. They're trying to bust me in people magazines. What? You're faking your age? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going on 28, man. And then uh, they said, well, how old are you kids? I, said, I don't know. I can't remember. So I, don't know. Mm -hmm. so I said, I don't like to talk about that stuff. I don't like that. Kalamazoo, that was a summer, something other stuff. There was about 50,000 kids there. 
and they took just no brag, no brain use back. Okay. Um, they took it, uh, the thing, the toll or whatever the heck they call it at the front, like who you hear to see, uh, most of them were to see. Uh, uh, and that's when the girl played with it. He had a three monster big guy around him all the time. Because mm. he knew. The night before that, Ozzy went up to the bass player, Rudy Sardo, and went like, <coughs> punched him in the face and knocked him out in the bar and goes, okay, that's one down three to go. <laughs> I went up to Ozzy and goes, okay. okay. You got anything to say to Steve? Steve! <laughs> <laughs> You saw you guys play up in Pasadena at uh, one of the clubs up there before you guys made it. Let me take another one. Um, um, Perkins Palace. I don't know where it was. You told me about the gig, and I couldn't make it, but he went up there and saw it, and it, it was so crowded he couldn't get word to you or nothing. Yeah, it was probably Perkins Palace. It was right, it was right down the street from uh, um, Handlebars. Oh, yeah? You ever see the Handlebars are going there anymore? No, but what's the space that works there? Jam. Oh, really? Yeah, he still works there. I'll be done. And Barry goes, remember Barry? Uh-huh. He goes in there sometimes and he's playing Jack and he goes, oh, that was Nick. Really, really, really. So they know who you are. Yeah, you bet they do. Well, I was wondering, you know, seeing how you change your name, how many people would realize who you are? Well, you know? let me see. Who was it? Um, remember the band that I played in many moons ago when I was only 19 before White Horse or anything? Um, with, uh, yeah, I don't know if you ever met him, Jim Cunningham, Jim Cunningham and Mike Malone is the drummer. I heard about him, but I never saw him. Well, they knew who I was. Uh, yeah, they probably out me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's no way to recognize you, you know. Well, I guess they must have studied my face or something. Huh. Either that or a kid like me. I don't know if they yeah. recognize me. Huh. So you folks still live in the same place? Yeah. Yeah. John Stanton. Hmm. I'm going to pick up the pipe for my brother's gig. I'm going to put him on the van with one old pipe pipe. Hmm. I have to think about that one. I don't quite remember. And you put him on your van when it was still blue. Before you painted the dark blue. Huh. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Is that when I was building my upside down drum thing? I remember I was cruising around I here. think so, because you had the same guy weld him on, I believe. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Huh. That was remember that time you got popped for, we were riding together in your old Ford or whatever, that hunk of garbage, yep. big red thing, and we were going to the <laughs> gig at the pier. Yeah, no, we rehearsed, no, it was a, an audition for pier. And the cops oh, pulled yeah. us over for a burnout taillight, and they thought that you had a warrant for child support, three in jail. Yep. I had to take my symbols down to a pawn shop and hawk them to get the money to bail him out. And then they wouldn't give me my symbols back. We didn't have the money to, you know, to pay for them to get them back, so we missed the audition. We showed up and couldn't play the audition because we didn't have any symbols. <laughs> now here's the drummer going to play without any symbols. So that was, and we got in trouble. Boy. Those guys in the band, they go, let's you know. That's okay. Hey, what am I supposed to do, man? i got to get my guitar player out of jail. <laughs> the only thing i got worth anything is my symbols. <laughs> Hock the cookies and... That's it. Yeah, that's something. Boy, that was a tough time. The truck breaking down on the freeway, sleeping. Five guys in the van. This van right here. And the bar's so dead. And everybody's, you know, butt fogging all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and I was getting kicked off. Because I had driven all the way from Cheyenne, Wyoming, with a bird mark on my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I went to moon these guys in a VFW hall across from the nightclub, and as I was backing out the window, I bumped into the fireplace flue with my butt. And it just <laughs> so I ran downstairs and threw my rear end in the snow to cool it off. And we had to, all the way home, I was just driving on one cheek, and I was hurting and I was mad. I was ticked off, and we we drove all the way to the Barstow Desert, and my truck blows up. And so all the guys from the truck pile into my van. Yeah. And uh, we all spent the night in there, and I wanted to get a night's sleep, and everybody was fogging windows. <laughs> that's, a, that's our new name, dude, Butt Fog. Right. So I, I told him, I said, hey, the next guy that, uh, 
the cracked wind, man's going to spend the night outside. <laughs> and it was hairy. Yeah, and then when I uh, then I tried to get Brian with him in the van, and the van full of five guys, and so I twisted his arm around. Oh, man, I was going to punch that guy. That guy bothered me. So what's Harry, if you ever see this, you know what? You bother me. You always have and You always have Me too. You guys are going to make sense. I'm going to go this all the time. <laughs> Yeah. Did Jack saw that that one video kick the you got the second one you did that's it, that's the face. Oh you know that face. Yeah. I know, I do. The look at the kill. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's the there's the face. I know, that's the that director, um I'm sure the face. Um, let me see what it is. Marcello. That was the director of that video. And he would always go. He's Italian. Or he goes, Meek, make that face. He said, Tres face. And I go, wait a minute. I don't like that face. <laughs> I need to do something else. No, you gotta do that face. Okay. This uh, one next. Jack, do you still have the balloon face? The what? The balloon face, day to day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I have a balloon face. <laughs> That's what I do. Where do you see the balloon face? <laughs> the balloon face is half. My customer comes over here, we're going to have to bail him. Look at Jack in the old days. We're going to have to run in the basement. Jack, don't have to move those clothes. No, I don't have them. If he still don't have these gigs, I got his best. I got all those clothes. I'm still have this thing, too. Yeah, look at this. That's terrible. There's the bass. Ha, 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 ha,
We'll be here. All right, you too. Are you guys going to be coming to concerts down here? Um, probably not until next summer. I'm off to Europe on the amount of